Hi, this is Courtney with PRMA Plastic Surgery. We are continuing our weekly support spotlight. And this week we are joined with Jenny and she is one of the co-founders of Overcomers. So thank you so much for joining us today, Jenny. And can you just kick off our interview today by telling us a little bit about Overcomers? Sure, absolutely. So um, Overcomers actually started uh, back in 2015. Um, it basically was formed for the purpose of helping uh, women through breast reconstruction um, and their breast cancer journey because of my personal story of being diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 39 when I was pregnant. And um, at that time, I didn't find a lot of help or resources to assist me um, following my treatments and really was looking for a way to bridge that gap and um, came up with the program and developed that and along the way uh, met my BFF and my left-handed partner Jessica and together we have formed um, this organization that has many branches that help women in multiple facets um, throughout our city and the surrounding areas. So it has been a labor of love um, and every year we continue to add more programs so that we can meet the needs of women and families out there um, that are really hurting and need a place to have a safe landing and a place to hear some hope. So it is definitely a labor of love and passion for us. So. And when you and Jessica kind of teamed up to create this, how did you get it started? So basically what happened was um, 2015 was like my valley year, my reconstruction and didn't go the way I had planned, um, but that's okay. In that year that um, I had, my expanders were infected and I had to go flat for a year and then um, get ready for my deep flap. I basically just started developing a curriculum, um, a weekly uh, course basically to help women get back on their feet. And through that development, um, I met Jessica through a nurse navigator and um, we sat down basically and hashed this out. And we actually met at one of the local hospitals first as a very small group of 10 it was a pilot class and from there we've now branched um, this will be our 10th class now coming up and actually became an official uh, 501c in uh, 2016 so it has just been like the nine-week class and then we kind of branched out from there and now we do uh, also a quarterly class for husbands and caregivers and we have uh, our thrive to a beautiful you workshops that are actually in the cancer centers and i know also you all will be hosting one yourselves at PRMA uh, twice a month to help women find their beautifulness also from the inside as well as externally. And then we have multiple programs as well as with our um, Pink Under the Tree program, which we love for Christmas time because we get to gather women and their children and just love on them uh, tremendously through the holidays. And we'll be launching a new program as well coming up with our big gala to help meet needs even more in our city. So. We're excited to do that too. That's amazing. And you mentioned your classes. Can yeah. you go into more detail about what these classes entail? Absolutely. So the, the basic, the purpose behind the classes is really to help women process what they've gone through. So many times we're in treatment and it's a fight or flight situation. Basically, you just want to get through. You just like next step, next step. How do I get through this process? And we really come alongside them to help them process what they've experienced. All of the leaders that are on our leadership team are breast cancer survivors. They've all walked a specific journey. Um, that way, when they are in the small group setting, they have a peer, a mentor to love on them and encourage them. And we range all the way from stage zero to stage four. Um, there's no one that's excluded that has had breast cancer because we truly feel that you are a part of our family for life. It isn't just, thank you for coming to our class talk to you, see you later. We really stay with them and we love on them for as long as they want us to. So that's the purpose is just to give them a community and a support and they to feel like, okay, someone out there understands me and we can show empathy and encourage them that everything's going to be okay. I love that. Yeah. And how can women or men or caregivers um, mm -hmm. who are interested in benefiting from some of these amazing services that you offer contact you so what's really been a blessing is we do have several outlets you know obviously you can um, find us on social media overcomers breast cancer we do have an amazing website as well overcomersbreastcancer.com um, we have a youtube channel um, honestly we, we try to get ourselves out there as much as possible especially with us doing the pink gala you know 
know, it's our heart to give back. We give back by honoring these medical professionals, nurses, doctors, um, office administration, whoever has shown love to another person in the breast cancer field. We want to love them and give that back. And so we use the gala to do that, to be an outlet for them. And a lot of times physicians and nurses who haven't heard about us before, they attend the gala or they're a sponsor and they're like, you know what, we wanna rally around them and support them however we can. And the gala really funds critical programs for us, like our, our annual retreat that we take women to Port Aransas. Last year alone, we took 40 women and it was amazing. It just continues to grow. So we really would, you know, I can't say it enough the heart behind who we are is true servanthood. You know, Jess and I and the board, we all give of our time. We love what we do. And we really believe that we're here for a purpose and a reason. And we don't have breath still just to do nothing. So as long as we're here, we're serving. I love your heart. I love Jess's heart. And I love your organization and what you guys are doing for the local community. And um, thank you so much for sharing with us about your organization today. And um, we will continue to support your mission as well. So thanks, Jenny. Thanks, guys.